the best to Hi, Kelly. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, what brings you home? I am actually here on vacation, uh, you know, trying to spend some time with the family. Uh, but I'm also always <laughs> blending work and vacation. And um, so I'm doing today, I'm doing a photo shoot for Swimista. Tell me about that brand. So it's um, it's uh, started by Andrea Bar Bernholtz, who is who started Rock and Republic, and um, and she's a Hawaii girl too. She's spent many many years living on Maui. The swimsuits, the fabrics are made out of um, of old bottles. A very um, environmentally friendly brand, which I love. And you're modeling the swimwear today on a yacht. I am. <laughs> You know, and um, which is a little bit scary because I haven't done like a swimsuit shoot in, in a few decades, I think. Because <laughs> I'm in my 50s now. And you know, who would have thought that, you know, in my 50s, I would still be modeling a swimsuit. But um, I've, uh, I, I feel like, uh, you know, 50s, is not the same now as it was way back it's then. It's the new 20s. It is. Well, I want to say 20s because <laughs> I was really dumb, yeah, in my 20s. But um, but yeah, definitely 30s at least. Um, but uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, women at 50 now are in better shape than ever. Mm -hmm. They are more confident. Um, I think women in their 50s are just more awesome than ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And why are you in the best shape of your life right now? Um, I am in the best shape of my life because I had to prepare for a shoot that I was doing in Atlanta for a series called uh, BMF, Black Mafia Family, that I'm on. And um, there are some racy scenes in there that I had to make sure that I was in shape for because there was going to be a lot of me showing. And so, nothing like um, the incentive of public nudity <laughs> to <laughs> get you in shape. <laughs> and people zooming in on right? every Exactly. <laughs> wow. Take me back, you know, Kamehameha schools, growing up in Hawaii. What were your goals when you were growing up? Did you ever imagine that you would be this icon? Oh, wow. Icon. That's a big word. I mean, that, that comes with a lot of like responsibility too, right? You know, growing up, I, well, I, I always loved performing. I always loved being in front of the camera. Um, you know, I, I, I was one of those kids who took drama every single semester at high school because um, it was an easy A, but also because I just had a love for theater and performing and, you know, I never learned computers and I never learned typing, you know, I have no other skills because I only took drama. <laughs> um, but, uh, but it paid off for me. I, you know, I entered the pageant my junior year and I won Miss Teen USA and that gave me so many opportunities to be able to pursue my dreams. You know, I think a lot of girls don't get those kind of opportunities um, because of financial, you know, especially financial, you know, limitations. But, um, but the pageant uh, really allowed me to move to Los Angeles and pursue my acting career and really um, discover, you know, whether or not I could do this. Because it's hard and it's demanding and I think without this, that kind of financial support and moral support, I don't know that I could have done it. Was it more challenging as an Asian or coming from Hawaii? You know, I think that it was more challenging as an Asian, you know, going up to the mainland. But I think one of the benefits of being young and dumb is that <laughs> you don't know it's supposed to be hard, right? So you just go for it. Mm. And, um, and I just had that, you know, go for broke attitude from the very start. It was like, you know, I was going to give it my all and no matter what, you know, it was at least I know that I gave it my all and, you know, I gave myself five years and I'm like, if I'm not working, a, a regular working actress in five years, then, you know, there's always college to go back to and learning to type. Paint the picture of what it was like to break into movies and television as a Asian woman back 
like in the 90s and 2000s? You know, I was really lucky that I didn't have agents who just pigeonholed me into only Asian roles because that was very limiting, you know. There were there were some movies and things like that that were happening, um, but uh, my agents saw me as just like all American girl, and maybe that's also because I had won the Miss Teen USA pageant. So I would be able to go up for roles that were, you know, not written specifically for any ethnicity. Looking back, what would you say is your greatest accomplishment so far? Ah, uh, you know, I think. It's my longevity in this career. Um, you know, I've had so many great opportunities and so many great uh, roles and, and awards and things like that. But I think the thing that I'm most proud of is that I've been doing this for 35 years now. Take me back to some of the nudity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you feel about that? You know, when people would say, are you willing to show certain things and come um, out of baths? <laughs> well, I've never actually done like full on nudity. Like there's always been stuff covered strategically, you know, so um, I've never had to. Was that like a limitation that you had? Um, it kind of was in the beginning because I think when you're young, people try to push you into doing things that you're not as comfortable with and you have to be very strong and know the power of no. You know, understand that, um, that refusing to do nudity is, you know, it might lose you the job, which it, I have had happen, um, but that's not gonna make or break your career, you know? So I feel like it's very, um, it's a very, powerful word to know and understand and and oftentimes leads to new opportunities. Mm -hmm.